Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh. Uh, getting pulled over here in Texas. So uh, my dash cam's not working, so I'm gonna broadcast this live for safety. Here's the officer. Good morning, sir, how you doing? Hey, I'm with the highway patrol, sir. A couple reasons for your stop. You got a job on the shoulder back there, but your plates are coming back expired as well. Oh, the, it's a temporary tag, it's not an expired tag. This was bought, I purchased this RV relatively recently and I'm just waiting for the, the tags to catch up in the mail. If you run them, you, the, the temporary tag, you should be able to see that there's a, a live registration in Michigan uh, that this, that's been completed and, and it's just that the uh, there's a live plate uh, associated with this vehicle. Have you just not got that yet, Dan? Yeah, I live, I live in Arizona, bought it in Ohio, registering it in Michigan, so it's like yeah, kind of back and forth with the mail, okay. you know, that kind of thing. Right. Uh, and and I, I apologize if I was a little distracted earlier. I understand, I understand. You got uh, your driver's license with you and some information for the RV uh, insurance and whatnot? Um, I, I believe so. Let me, I can give you, uh, see, I can give you a driver's license. That's that I got handy. I don't know, uh, the paperwork for the RV might take me a minute if you really want to. If you want to walk, if you want to wait for that, but there's a, there's a driver's license. Your dog got a bite? No, he's very friendly. Right. This is this is blue. I mean, he unless unless you're uh, you know, unless you're one of those one of those people who likes to shoot dogs. No. No. Okay. I'm okay with that. You got a uh, you got any information though for the, the vehicle? You got insurance, whatnot? Uh, yeah, I should. Give me uh, give me. I mean, if you don't mind. Good good job, blue. Good boy. All right, let's see. You still in that airport? Yes. Brown Marine, I'm guessing, yeah? Oh, you can tell from the stupid look on my face, huh? No, I saw your tattoo. Oh, it was a tattoo, huh? <laughs> All right. When did you get out? Uh, November 30, 2006. You never forget that day, right? You prior service? No, sir. Oh, don't call me sir. I was a sergeant. But uh, hey, I wrote I wrote this book while I was in jail for civil disobedience. Okay. And you call it lessons learned the hard way, but it's a lot of stuff that uh, you know I learned from the from the Marines as well. No kidding. And uh, I think I think you'd appreciate it. And it's it's very important about uh, for what it says about police officers as well, because you know police officers serve uh, some very important functions in society. But it's very unfortunate that in, in doing so and in, in trying to serve the people, we have the government between us. You know where you want to serve and protect, you want to provide legitimate services, but you have to, uh, fundamentally you work for politicians. And politicians don't work for the people, that's a myth, right? You know that. So what, what we're trying to do with the message in this book and with everything that I do in, in, in speaking out about this and talking uh -huh. about freedom is seeing if we can get more direct people-to-people -people connections, people serving people without this uh, you know violent monopoly of government coming in between us. Right. So. Um, I hope you know that I'm, I'm, oh, no, I'm broadcasting no and, and all that, and, yes, and I'm just doing that in the spirit of accountability and, and you know, sharing my, my experience on the road here. So, I hear you, I hear you. Um, yeah, I got this, I got this big pile of paperwork here for the RV, and I have, I have, I've never been pulled over in it, so I don't know where the insurance information is. Let's see, Belmont. Is so, no. so it might be, uh, might be somewhere in this. In this giant packet of paperwork, okay. you know, that I got with this thing. So, I don't know if you. What's that? Um, I think it's Good Sam. Um, you know, Camping World. I know I have some insurance through them. I, you know. Actually, you know what? I have some bad news for myself here because I just realized the insurance paperwork is with the license plate that hasn't caught up with me yet. So I don't have it. And if, if you feel that you need to uh, issue some citation for that, I would hope that you would say pending submission of, of, of email proof of insurance because I do have it I got for this vehicle on the record. But I'm, I'm now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure that, uh, that, that I don't have any. But, I, but if you, you know, to be fair, if, if, if what you have to do is, is write me a citation for that, okay, I hope okay. you'd, you'd allow me some, some allowance for providing that proof of insurance. Uh, is, this, uh, is this still your current address, though? Yes, sir. Okay, where are you headed to now, then, ma'am? I'm going to a conference in Miami, the, uh, the North American Bitcoin Conference. You know about Bitcoin? Bitcoin Conference? Yeah. All right, all right. Do, do, you, do you know about Bitcoin? Eh, I don't keep up 
up with it too much. It's a little hard over my head. So. Oh, you keep up with how the U.S. dollar works and the Federal Reserve system and all that? I'll tell you what, I keep up with this right now. That's all, that's all I've been paying attention to. <laughs> All, all right, right. let me get you, I'll fix you up a warning real quick, okay? All right, thank you, brother, I appreciate and, uh, that. You want me to do it this year? That's all yours. You sure about yeah, that? Yeah, it's free. We Don't worry, it's not like you're accepting some valuable gift. We, we give those away at events because, you know, it's more about spreading the message than, than making money. I hear you. So. I hear you. All right, man, let me fix this up real quick. I'll get right back. All right, you. thank you for understanding, right. sir. Yes, sir, I'll be right back. But, um, oh, wait, 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 look, check it out, guys. See, here he comes. You can see him coming up now. And so um, we can we can turn this around. And, oh wait, you can actually turn the camera around while live now. That's a nice improvement. All right. Hello again, sir. All right, man. I get you a sign right here for me. All it's right. All Don't right. Go on your record, no fine paper. Right? Awesome. Appreciate it. Appreciate your understanding. Thank you. You're very welcome. I, I hope you'll take a look at that book. I will do that. I will do that. Here's a copy of this for you, too. Thank you very right, much. Man. Be careful. Drive safe. Have a good day. You too. Well, I guess I'm free to go now. Mwah. Peace. Hello. How you doing, officer? Hello. If you're pulling me over about the uh, the temporary tag, uh, I was just pulled over actually about an hour ago no, and, sir, and got a warning. Tag. Okay. Sir, Texas Highway Patrol, the reason for the stop today is your speed, actually. I need to see your license. Oh, my and speed? Then, yes, sir. I was checked at 74 miles an hour in that 65 mile an hour zone. 74 and a 65? Yes, sir. Oh, well, I apologize. I didn't miss it. It was, it was a 75 right before it, wasn't it? Uh, a couple miles up the road. Oh, okay. You were well, I definitely know I wasn't going more than uh, than 74 because this uh, this vehicle has a, 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 a limiter on it. Okay, sir. But, so sure, yeah. License. Hey, look at that, guys. Two two in, uh, in less than an hour. There's a lot of fun in Texas here. All right. Well, there you go, sir. There's my license. Awesome. And uh, you're on you're on Facebook Live. That's my answer. Mr. Kokesh, you're being recorded as well by us, so it's all good. Excellent. Sir, yeah, do just, I, do, I do a YouTube channel and sir, you know, stuff have, like uh, that. The insurance for the vehicle? Uh, I do not, actually. That's why I got a warning at the last stop, is that if you notice from the temporary tag, uh, I don't have my plate either, uh, I'm, and you can see from that, I, I reside in Arizona. This vehicle was purchased in Ohio, and so I'm just okay, waiting so to get you, it in the mail. Do you have any but, paperwork on the vehicle? Uh, I can show you the warning ticket I just got about that. Warning, is that what I'm asking for? I need to see paperwork that puts you with this vehicle. Uh, I, it would, Insurance, title, anything that says you just bought it, anything that puts you with this vehicle? Um, no, because if you look at it, it's actually uh, in a friend's name, so it wouldn't be in mine yet, and that's why we're waiting to get the registration okay, in my please. name. Here's what I need you to do. We're going to talk about this a little more in detail because okay. I need to make sure that this RV is supposed to be with you. So if I could have you step out here, grab a hoodie on. It's a little cold. Yeah, it's we'll really talk. cold. Yes, sir. You we'll sure? talk back here. All right. Yes, Put on a little beanie if you have one. All right. Well, we're going to talk about this some more. <laughs> yeah. All right. Going, going, uh, 74 and a 65 in Texas. And we're going to talk, so we'll have some fun with this. I'm going to bring him a copy of my book, get my uh, get my jacket on. I'm going to bring Baloo, because Baloo is my friendly ambassador for freedom. Uh, so Baloo, come here, sit. I don't want to, can't leave Baloo, you know, unattended in a vehicle. So we're going to get him here. Um... But you know, I think I think I'm gonna ask the officer. You know, now that I think about it, I think I don't I don't think I have to step out of the the vehicle. Uh, let's see, sir, do you mind do you mind? Um, I don't know if it's an important distinction or not, but I, I like to stay in my vehicle. I have my my my, my no, dog sir, here. Y'all can stay in the vehicle, but I do need you to step back here. Well, no, I, I, is there is there a reason? I, yes, I'm, sir. We're gonna talk about it, but back here. It's just to talk. That? Is the reason just to talk? Well, we're going to figure some stuff out. Yes, sir. We're not going to do it with me having to yell up to that window. Oh, well, I'll be right here. It's fine. We can talk. Well, I'd rather not exit the vehicle. Sir, step to the back. I'm asking. Okay, well, if you're asking, I'm declining, but you're going to have to give me a, a reason other than you just want to talk because okay, because we can talk. Listen, listen to like, me. I'll sit down right here. No, sir. No, sir. And listen we're, we're in the vehicle. Listen to me. 
I need your dog put up because he's a big looking dog and he may be real friendly with you, but I don't know how he is with anybody else. So if you can close okay. the door and step back here, you're recording me and I'm going to, I'm, that's perfectly fine. I think it's fair if I'm recording us too. You can record sure. me and let us both be on my camera as well. And we'll talk about it up here. I have some questions about the vehicle, about whose name it's under, where it was purchased, how we're going to tie the vehicle into you. I need to make sure it's not stolen and I need to verify all this stuff. We're going to do it right back here. Well, if that's the case, we can do that right no, here. Sir. We're going to do it right back here. Step back here with me. What, can, you, can you tell me why we're just talking? We can't right, talk right here? Focus. I want you to close the door because I can't focus on what you're saying. All right, I'll get, I'll, get, I'll get Baloo out of here. Baloo, if you don't want to talk to Baloo, that's fine. No, we don't. can get him back. Baloo, Baloo, go to bed. Baloo. Baloo. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, Baloo, go to bed. Blue, go to bed. Chill out. Say okay. So he's out of the way. All right, I'm here, and I am I am happy and and free to talk to you from right here, sir. Okay. Okay. So here's my first question. I already informed you what you're stopped for. Your speed. Yes, sir. 70, 65. Okay. This is your license. You don't have insurance on the vehicle. I do have insurance in the vehicle. It's in my email. I could I could probably pull it up, pull it up. but I, I'd have to do it from my laptop. I can't do it from my phone because can't pull up your email from your phone. No, not right now. Okay. Well, I need to see insurance. Okay. The vehicle's not yours. Um, not yet legally. No, okay, it's it's in, in the process, in the process of, of purchasing. transferring. No, I've purchased. Well, the the, the details of the financial arrangement are, are not necessary to discuss I, I don't need to know the details right. sir i just so, need to know is it yours yes or no it is mine okay so the vehicle is in the process of being transferred is and registered in my name tag, in fact if, if, if you were to if you were to look up the temporary tag you probably see you. a proper registration uh in in my friend's name Correct. and but i don't want to say the, that the here but is, i can i can write it down for you the, the temp tag is now the it. registration so does the temp tag come back to you no who does the temp tag come back to you? my friend the one who had the original tag as well correct so your friend had the original tag and took out a temporary tag for No, you? no, it was from a dealer. I'm sorry. But but what what's the matter? Like if, if I'm because am I not I, allowed I to be driving a car that, that belongs to somebody else? Is that is that a yes, crime? Sir, if you're allowed. So I need to find out who the owner well, is. Well no, you don't. You don't yeah, just yes. there's do you have reasonable Mr. reason Mr. to Kokesh, suspect that the Mr. vehicle Kokesh, there's, do you have there's reason a charge to suspect called unauthorized use of a motor vehicle. Right, do you have reason so to I don't suspect know if, that this vehicle is stolen or, or unauthorized? Well I don't know, you haven't shown me any documentation that if you don't have a reasonable you. suspicion of a crime, you Here's have what we're gonna do right you now. Have no reason Hold to on. violate listen, my Fourth Amendment rights. Listen to me. Here's what we're gonna do right now, okay? You're I'm letting you sit here. You're in your area right here. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make sure you don't have any weapons on you. And then you can remain sitting right there. I'm gonna go run this, just to make sure your license is clear, that you're not wanted, anything like that. I'm gonna come back out and we're gonna talk a little bit more. Once I check you for weapons, if you can please get your laptop and pull up the insurance, any title paperwork, anything that puts you with this RV. So if I could have you take two steps forward, I'm gonna pat you down right here. This is not an option and this is not a question. I am gonna pat you down for my own safety. Because you're sitting in an RV that I have no idea what's in there with a big dog and I'm allowing you to sit in the doorway off my camera. So if you can step here so that my camera can see me pat you down and then I will allow you to return to your seat. Okay, step I just, right I here. just, okay, I'm not resisting, I'm not, I'm not refusing. Okay, I just, right I'm just, I'm just, right now. I'm just I clarifying. Need I need you to step right here Hold right on. now so I can pat so, you down. If there's no urgency to this, I, I have a right to ask a clarifying question, do yes, I not? Sir. So on, on what legal authority are you searching my person? I'm not searching you. I'm going to pat you down. It's going to be outside the body. I'm not going to go into your pockets. I'm not going to dig in any pockets. I'm going to go outside the body and I'm searching for weapons, pistols, knives, anything you might have hidden in your big jacket, your... Sir, sir that, that's overcoat. still legally a search. But if you're telling no, me sir. that it's, it's just a safety pat down Listen search... I'm telling you to step forward right now. All right. And I'm going to be able to keep recording yes, this the I, whole time. I haven't told you anything. All right. Well, this is interesting. I've never experienced anything quite like this before. But uh, you want to have me now for all that? I can have you face that way. All right. Hold on. This is a pat down for all you on Facebook. Look, see, outside the pocket. I'm checking the pocket, crushing the pocket. He's being very affectionate. There we go. All right. I'm fine that you don't have any weapons. You can sit back on your chair and I'll be right back with you. All right. Keep the dog inside, please. Will do. Mr. Kokesh, 
So, the vehicle purchased in Ohio, where are you headed to today, if you don't mind me asking? I'm going to Miami, I'm going to the Bitcoin conference in Miami, yeah. Hey, I heard that stuff kind of went up in value, didn't it? Oh, it's gone up a lot, it's you, the future. Did you make a killing or did you, did you buy into it? That's how you got the, the thing? What, what, what's it up now, 10,000 of Bitcoin, something like that? A little over, uh, a little over 12 at the moment, yeah. Over 12? Good deal, good deal, all right. You said you're not traveling with any weapons. Correct. Can I, can I talk to you separately for a second, though? Because it's just just about like this encounter in general. I mean, we've got we've got two cops here for backup. Well, I, you know, we uh we we work very close knit, and they sure. saw I've been out here for a longer period of time. So after 10 minutes, a little alarm goes off. Sure. People start showing up to check on me. Okay. That's First, all this is. Okay. But they're cool. This is Trooper Gomez. This is Trooper Womack. A bunch of good dudes. We try to work, keep this highway safe, man. Sure, no, I, no, no, right now, no, this, this is this is what I want to say about that. Yes, if, if I may, because we've been here for a while, we yeah. you know we've gone through a little bit of back and forth here. Yes, sir. I want to say that, that that for for the genuine intent of, of, of keeping the highway safe, you know, I, I really do appreciate that. That you know you are providing society uh, a legitimate service. Yes, sir. And as an activist who who wants to fight injustice, you know, I see that uh, that it, it's really unfortunate that people like you who want to provide a legitimate service, who are trying to be helpful, uh, instead of being able to connect with me directly, you know, as, as, as a human being, you know, you have to have this, this sort of barrier, you have to have your guard up, you have to go through this process, I have to, I have Sir, to make I've, sure that... I've done nothing but speak to you as a normal human being. Well, if you had, with, with, if with, had no, you up, issued me a command, if, you issued me a yes, command under, down, under a if, threat, if you know. If you had walked up and you had said, hey man, here's the insurance, this is my buddy RV, he bought it for me, here you go, here's the proof of it, this is this, all my ducks are in a row. Yeah, we can come back here and talk. That would have put me at ease. We'd have we'd probably already right. been out of here. But well, see, I just, I just, I just, stop. I just went through a stop that was very similar, like less than an hour ago. Oh, did you? And they said it was, and, and the, the, the patrol officer was, was much friendlier, much more direct and accommodating. I gave him my license. He said, let me go back and run it. Okay. He didn't, he didn't have to, he did not have to verify that you know about the you know the insurance or being connected to the vehicle. So I don't know if you have a cop who's slacking, you know, in doing that, or if he's the one who's being the nice guy. Let but he's, he he set the standard that I expected you. coming to you. So when you come to me so, so with with me like an you. extra ac yeah. accusation and extra suspicion, I have to assert my rights in order to defend my rights and make sure that, that you're not trying to pull something else here. That you're not yes. trying to come up with an excuse to mess with me in so some other let way. Let me ask you so, a question, please. Okay. If there were a criminal going down the highway, would you want that criminal to be stopped by the first one or the second one? And which one would be more thorough in getting the criminal off the road? Well, if there were, so, just a hypothetical. So you're not, using, not, yeah, no, no, it's a great question, but you're using a definition of criminal based on the government's definition, and that's a, that's a very bad definition. Do right I, I don't want people I'm asking, who are I'm asking you know, you, peaceful to be bothered. It, okay, I'm asking you if I have your permission to make sure there's no contraband weapons, drugs in the vehicle. You do not have my consent to search okay, the vehicle. That's all I needed to know. Away from right here. As far as the speed, you're going to be receiving a warning for 74 and a 65. Okay? Hang tight for me right here. Understandable, sir. What's up, gentlemen? Anything interesting going on today? I just got a flat tire fix. That was kind of exciting. Hey, me too. What do you know? At least it didn't blow out while I was going real fast. You know, that was... Right on. You guys enjoying the cold? No, no I'll leave in Texas because I don't like cold. <laughs> yeah, same here with Arizona. No, it's not natural. Yeah, this is nuts. Well, hey, can I give you guys something? What's that? Oh, I've only got one left. Maybe I'll say this for... Uh, for, for my, the officers pull me over, but yeah, I don't know I'll, give you, I'll give you a sticker at least. This is the book that I wrote. I want to save. I want to save the book for uh, for the other officer if you don't mind. But you can take a look at there. And on the on the uh, on the sticker is the website, and you can uh, you can get the book for free there. Now you you get some time on the road, right? You get to listen to to audio books. Yeah. Yeah. So. The audio book is free online. But let, me, let me hang on to the book. Why don't you take oh, yeah. the sticker? Take the sticker. Oh, no, it's okay. And, and no, please, it's got, the, it's got the website on it so you can look it up later. And see, what I was getting at with the other gentleman was that when, you know, as a, as a police officer, you know, similar to like me in the military, you know, I was in the Marine Corps. Oh, yeah. And uh, you couldn't tell from the stupid look on my face? 
Sorry, that joke never gets old. See? Anyway. Uh, no, but like, you know, I joined the Marine Corps because I wanted to serve. I wanted to help. I wanted to put my life on the line to defend my country. And, you know, I found out the hard way that the greatest enemies of the Constitution are not to be found in the sands of some far off land, but rather right here at home. And, you know, when, when we have people like you who are similarly willing to, to put your life on the line to serve others, I think it's a real shame that we have government in between us. You know, that like the other officer saying, would you, would you like a criminal stopped? Well, if the criminal's got a, you know, a busted taillight, or an expired registration. No, I, I don't want that person stopped and bothered. You know, I want them to be able to take care of that uh, as easily as possible. And, and in that sense, we have the government, politicians, deciding who's a criminal, who's not. And, you know, you guys have to go out and enforce the law, you know, even if it's unjust. And I think that's, that's, that's a real travesty. That's a real source of injustice. I think a lot of the tensions between police and the communities where they work is because they're not serving the communities first, they have to serve their boss first, and they have to serve the politicians, and they have to serve government first. And obviously, the government doesn't represent the will of the people by any stretch of the imagination. So that's, that's what this is about, that's what freedom is about. You know, people being able to interact without uh, a coercive monopoly interfering with those relationships. And so, you know, I would love it if people like you who are doing this job were able to do it in a way that was truly in line with the needs of the people. And that's, that's really the focus, you know, at least uh, conceptually uh, of the book that, that, you know, I give to every officer I, I come into contact with that I get a chance. So for you, sir, I'm sorry, I only have one copy of the book left here on me that's, that's handy. I got a bunch more in boxes, but I'd like to give you a sticker if you don't mind. It's free as an audio book and that website has it on. I know you guys drive a lot. You spend a lot of time where uh, you can be listening to audio books and, and learning something. So I hope you guys would consider this perspective. Cool. Why'd you guys become cops? Uh, I, I did a bunch of time in the military, and I've always wanted to be a state trooper, so... That was the reason why. I've always wanted to be a cop. Well, what's, what's the why? Why is the why I always wanted to be? Because I was a child. No, but he's asking why. Why? Let's why? get to the why deeper reason, yeah. Great I want to serve my community? Make yeah. It, make a difference? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You too, right? Something like but, that? I don't like the way people drive, so I feel like I can, I can <laughs> make people better drivers. Yeah, make people better drivers, because my wife and kids drive up and down the highway. I want them to be safe when they're rolling around. So, what's happening, sir? So, you, you denied consent for me to search, and that's absolutely you're right. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, um, we have a canine officer who just arrived on scene. He's going to run this dog and conduct a free air sniff around the vehicle. The dog alerts. At that point, we are going to search the Winnebago for drugs. And the dog is a drug sniffing dog. He, he won't detect firearms. And he won't detect bombs. But he, he will detect drugs. So if he alerts, we will search the vehicle. If he doesn't alert, we've got your warning. We'll get you a warning. We'll get you out on your way. Does that sound fair? Well, that's what we're going to do. So, thanks for coming right here. I know you said you have a, that big dog in Sure, there. I will close the door. Happy to. Can you step out here when you close the door? No. Okay. okay. Oh, but sir, as I was telling these gentlemen, I saved my last copy that I have available handy of this book right here for you. As I was telling you about it. You can add on to that and we'll get that here in just a second. You take that later? Yes, All right. So I don't know what this is. They're going to send a dog around the outside of the vehicle to sniff around and uh, you know it's very interesting I don't know I wonder if they're just gonna if, if this is the typical you know they're going to uh, they're going to alert uh, because they're, yeah they might alert because there's another dog um, might alert for um, for no reason at all just because they want an excuse and this this could be a stop where you know like they were coming after me from the beginning this could be uh, this could be really interesting. I hope I hope Baloo's ready for this, because it could be that you know when they pulled me over, they're like, "Hey, this is Adam Kokesh's vehicle, and uh, we we really uh, you know we need to we need to search." So uh, that we can have an excuse to uh, to bust him. So we'll see. Uh, 
we'll see what happens. But uh, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not too worried. As you know, I don't travel with any contraband. But uh, who knows? We'll see what happens. I'm gonna pause okay, this for might... his safety. We're gonna have you stand right here outside of the RV while he runs that. Okay, sorry, hold. On. I got the orientation hey, wrong here. What'd you do? So I, I need you to step out of the RV so we can run that dog. We're gonna have you step right here. You, we're not gonna take you anywhere else. You'll be in full sight of everything. So this is for that deputy and his dog. Safety. Okay. Well, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the engine and and lock the vehicle. All right, this is gonna be interesting. All right, so Blue, no, you stay, you be a good boy. All right. All right, we're live again, and this is Adam Kokish. I'm here on the side of the road with. Would you please introduce yourself again, Stay sir? Right there, Trooper Garcia. Trooper Garcia, Texas Highway Patrol, and uh, is it Gomez and Volkner? Womack. Womack. Yes, sir. Thank you. And we have our K9 team here. What's up, buddy? Sniffing around the vehicle. Oh hey, I didn't know Please that. Don't interrupt me when I'm working. That yeah, bin was stop, open stop. there, and you see that's. Stop. Don't talk for the dog, please. Okay. See, this is what you could have pulled me over for legitimately is that that, that cargo bin there was open and oh, I didn't notice. Enough, sir. <laughs> 74 and 65. Okay. That was a legitimate stop. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and secure this bin here because this is not safe. I got my firewood my cone in there. Make sure that that doesn't fly over. Oh, that last one. Ah, there. Oh, no shit. Oh, well, maybe after this stop, I'll have to uh, get in there and take tight and uh, get that safe. All right, Mr. Kokesh. At this point in time, the dog did alert, so we're going to a whole nother level. This PC, I need you to turn off the camera. And then we're All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Adam Kokesh somewhere in Texas. Yes, sir. If you don't hear from me, and uh, right, I don't know how long would this take, about 20, 30 minutes, please come, please come find me.